Bowman Gray, Rockingham, Mexico, Lime Rock, NASCAR's 2025 schedules are here. Let's talk about them. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. After months of people pestering Bob Pockers on Twitter saying, hey, Bob, when's the schedule coming out? Bob's schedule coming out this week. Hey, Bob, what about the schedule? And Bob's saying, ah, it might be two weeks from now. It could be two weeks from now. It might be two weeks from now. Every single time somebody asked, like it was that terrible Ice Cube movie, Are We There Yet? We're finally actually here. All three of NASCAR's national touring schedules are out on Thursday. Let's talk about them real quick. We're going to start, of course, with the NASCAR Cup Series. And the big additions to the Cup Series this year is the fact that the Clash is moving from the Coliseum in Los Angeles to Bowman Gray Stadium. For the first time since 1971, the Cup Series will visit Bowman Gray, the Madhouse, the quarter-mile short track around Winston-Salem State University's football field, which has led to a number of viral, crazy, chaotic moments. It's the WWE of NASCAR tracks, right? The Cup Series will race there the first week of February, which will be interesting because winston Salem is not exactly going to be warm, but I will absolutely be tuning in for it. Put the Myers brothers and Tim Brown in cars because they deserve to be there at that point. The other big addition to the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule is Mexico. It will be taking a date away from Richmond first Capri Sun gets rid of the pouches for the for bottles. Now we have NASCAR dropping Richmond down to one race for the first time since 1959. They won't host two races. Thanks for that, Obama. But for Mexico, it will be hosting its first NASCAR Cup Series race, the first NASCAR points paying race points paying race for all the sticklers on the internet they're like actually the recent japan in the 90s yeah i'm aware about that this wasn't for points though this is for points for the first time in 67 years the cup series will race for points outside of the u.s border that race will happen on june 15th which happens to also be father's day so i'm sure brett griffin is not going to be happy about that it probably ranks right below easter and he's gonna go on this long tirade on Dortmund for clear about it. Notable changes to the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. For the most part, uh, it's a lot of date shifting because with four media partners, each partner wants a marquee race as well as probably a second tier race that's you know also ranked pretty highly up there. Circuit of the Americas moves from the sixth race of the year in 2024 up to the third race of the year in 2025. It will kick off the West Coast swing for the Cup Series. Um, you have Miami moving from October in 24 all the way up to March in 2025 as it moves out of the playoffs It moves up. Bristol moves back a month from March to April, which is definitely a good move for them because you're really playing with questionable weather there in March. Darlington's throwback weekend moves from May up to April 6th. That is an interesting move there, but a reasonable one at that. Dover moves from April all the way back to July, so maybe they'll actually get a Chamber of Commerce day there for once and not have to race on a Monday. Uh, Same with Michigan. Michigan moves up from August to June. It will be June 8th. Again, maybe for the first time in like five years, it won't be affected by rain. That would be great. You have New Hampshire and Gateway both dropping from June all the way back to September. Both of them will be in the playoffs. You have Gateway in the first round, New Hampshire in the second round. Not sure anybody wants two flat one-mile tracks in the playoffs, but we're getting them. And for New Hampshire, maybe it won't rain for once because those people do deserve to have a race that, you know, isn't affected by rain for once in their lives. Everybody wanted Sonoma to move up to the beginning portion of the year. You're still not getting your wish. You're not going to get to see a green Sonoma. It actually moves back a month. It moves from June, the beginning of June, to the middle of July on July 13th. You have a triple header there in July, which goes from the Chicago Street Course to Sonoma all the way back to Dover. That is going to be a lot of miles on the haulers. The Cup Series will have one off weekend on Easter. And realistically, the other big notable change is the fact that uh, Talladega will move from the second race of the second round of the playoffs to the second race of the third round of the playoffs, a wild card race to potentially put somebody in a championship race at Phoenix is certainly a move uh, and it will be chaotic. But for the four media partners, they all kind of get marquee events, right? For Fox, they get the Daytona 500 as well as the NASCAR Cup Series All-Star Race once again at North Wilkesboro. When you have Prime pick up the schedule, they get the Coke 600 uh, to start. They also get Mexico City as well. TNT's coverage starts uh, June 28th with the Atlanta Night Race, which will also be the start of NASCAR's in-season tournament. They will also get the Chicago Street Race as a portion of their schedule as well as the Brickyard 400. And then the NBC portion picks up an Iowa. They get, uh, well, Iowa was a pretty entertaining race uh, last year, but they get that race. They get the regular season cutoff at Daytona, and they also get the playoffs as well as Talladega and the championship race at Phoenix. So overall, the Cup schedule looks really good. For the sixth consecutive year, the Cup Series will visit a new racetrack. Ben Kennedy has done a great job revitalizing 
rising and breathing a new life into the schedule after so many years of stagnant scheduling, which basically was the same schedule for the better part of nearly 20 years. Now we're getting dates shifting around. We're getting new tracks added, people losing dates that probably didn't deserve a second date. Overall, I think the schedule is really stout for 2025. Now let's move on to the Xfinity schedule. They get a great new addition to the Xfinity schedule in 2025. Rockingham will be joining this schedule for the first time in over a decade. One of NASCAR, NASCAR's national three touring series will be going to Rockingham. The truck series will join them for a joint weekend on April 18th and 19th. Xfinity will also be going to Gateway, Mexico City, as well as adding in a second Bristol race. The regular season finale will happen at Gateway. That, of course, is in the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. They will race at Mexico on June 14th. And that second Bristol date is much needed, right? Xfinity doesn't traditionally race in the springtime at Bristol with the Cup Series. They will be doing that in 2025. Gone off the schedule for the Xfinity Series is gone off the Xfinity Series schedule is Richmond. The Xfinity Series will no longer race at Richmond. They will no longer race at Michigan, no longer race at New Hampshire, and they are down to just one race at Darlington. Three of those races, Richmond, Darlington, and Michigan, come at the expense of Rockingham, Mexico, as well as Gateway. And then SMI swapped a date around getting rid of New Hampshire and adding in that second Bristol date. Overall, the Xfinity schedule is pretty interesting. Portland moves all the way back to August next year in 2025. I think Think that's a good shake up there. And remember, all Xfinity races will be on the CW in 2025. Today's video is brought to you by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Great sunglasses. I am very partial to the Classic as well as the Camber. Neither of them are in my office right now. They are both downstairs because I wear them on a daily basis. So head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Code break hard at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Moving on to the truck series, they took 2025 pretty literally because they're up to 25 races in 2025 for the truck series with some great additions that include a trip to Rockingham on April 18th, a trip to Lime Rock. You heard me correctly. The truck series are headed to Lime Rock on June 28th. The truck series will also have three road course races races next season. Watkins Glen, Lime Rock, as well as a trip for the first time to the Charlotte Roval, which will be a triple header in 2025, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday show with all three of NASCAR series. The truck series on the Roval will be absolutely chaotic. That comes at the expense of Gateway losing a race. One of the Kansas races losing a race. Coda no longer on the truck series schedule and Gateway is no longer on the truck series schedule either. The final race of the regular season for the truck series will be at Richmond in the truck series round of eight to determine and who goes on to the championship for at, at Phoenix is absolutely wild. It consists of the Charlotte Roval, Talladega, as well as Martinsville. If you survive those three races and make it to Phoenix, you should just be crowned champion regardless. So that is the schedule. Those are the big notable changes uh, for all three series in 2025. Let me know in the comments what you think about the additions, the subtractions, changes you want to see be made, and maybe what tracks you want to see in 2026. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.